Naya? Yes. Welcome to Majora's Mask. Um, when we left off at the end of the story to refresh you for Ocarina of Time, do you remember it vividly? No. We finished with the sages, we put the sword, the Master Sword back in the Temple of Time, became a child again, and we warned Zelda, Princess Zelda, about Ganondorf's plan, and therefore we created a couple of timelines, right? So when we beat Ganondorf, we actually went back in time and stopped his plot from ever developing as a child, okay? Yes, I remember that part. So... The, uh, the conclusion of that story leads into this one. This is Majora's Mask. It occurs with no Master Sword. The Master Sword is currently locked back in the Temple of Time. We grabbed Epona and we set off on a journey. And our name is not going to be in- Link! I was gonna say, please no. I didn't mess it up the last time either. That was a one-time thing, so I'm gonna make sure that from now on that doesn't occur. We are Link. I think you're gonna really enjoy this game. So, uh, welcome to the fall Zelda recording sessions, everybody. This will be posted on both of our channels, and then we'll flip-flop episode 2, 3, 4, 5. That seems to be the headstrong, straight-on approach. And it works just fine, so check it out. Now, instead of medallions, we have masks. Currently, okay. zero masks. Let's see how this game begins. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. A friend with whom he'd parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. And who may that friend be? Perhaps our fairy. So this occurs in the timelines immediately after Ocarina of Time. Ganondorf never had the chance to do his plot. His plot was in vain because we busted the plot before it ever got started. So now we are in a nameless area with a lot of trees. Oddly enough, this wasn't on the map in Ocarina of Time, so we're going off the map here. You remember the lake, and you remember the Zora's Cavern and everything, and the water going through that guy's butt? Yes. That was an enthusiastic yes. <laughs> I know, that was the one thing I brought up I said I wasn't going to bring up anymore, was the water in the butt crack. They scared Epona. Also, he's riding bareback, no saddle. And there he is. Skull Kid with Majora's Mask. The Cursed Mask. He he he. You two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Waddle walks. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Walk like a penguin. Penguin. I, that was disturbing. I don't remember <laughs> that in the game. Really? Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. Easily amused. How is he blowing into it? There's no hole. Okay, that's enough from the both of you. Good God. You can't, Tail. What would you do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. With what arms? Aw, but sis, well, why can't I try it out too? Notice we have, uh, we do not have the Master Sword. The Master Sword is locked away. God, his face though, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't stealing anything. <laughs> oh, now he's taking our horse too. That's not fair. Epona, he's just please. Ragging in the dirt. I'm getting road rash. Please <laughs> stop running, you dumb horse. How do you call Epona dumb? 
if opponent would just stop running. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me well. Uh, the mic seems to get closer and closer with every recording. But uh, Naya, I am on the controller. I never even asked. Do you want to be on the controller? Uh, you can play for a few minutes. I'm just kind of... I don't believe this is Taking the... things in. So I don't believe this is the Kokiri dagger. That little dingy sword he had. I think this is just a nameless one because I don't remember that one having a blue sheath. But there is something very noteworthy over here. Look at that. Huh? No more turtle. I actually can hold my shield as a kid. Oh. Wow. I would say you've grown, but that would be a lie. He's got like a couple of centimeters over the last game. All right, well, first things first, make sure that there's nothing hidden here. And there's nothing hidden here, because, you know, why would there be? All right. Let's go stop Skull Kid. This is a really nice area, it's just too bad it uh, doesn't really have a name. I I feel like, you know what, I, I, I just feel like I, yeah, I was going to say, there's nothing here, I don't think. The problem is, is that there was so much crap they left in these games that you can't access without developer codes or hacking in and putting your own code in there. So, but some of the stuff you can find that it's like they threw little things in there that, you know, you can get. And they just didn't expect anybody to find it. And now I'm worried about missing that stuff. Oh, uh, we're tripping now. What the heck? This is like from hack. Yeah, they don't. They don't really. Hack. They never really explain that part. I don't believe. Hmm. All right. So here's a Deku pedal. And look who it is. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. Love that theme. Dig that theme. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, boo-hoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. You really think you can beat... Oh, man, he really is evil. He doesn't even let me read his dialogue. <laughs> it was, do you really think you can beat me as I am now? Or something along those lines. Ooh, the power of the cursed mask. You're about to see what it can do. Got a couple of hallucinations going on here. I feel like I should add the Final Fantasy VII Corrupted Memories music where he's got that like ear-piercing screech in his ear when he's having hallucinations. Wouldn't that be a copyright thing? It probably would. Wow. How did that become a Deku? We are officially a tree. Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. <laughs> Beat up by a fairy, man. That's that's brutal. Sis! Kaplunk. <laughs> Oops. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me. I'm still here. Tails, you can't leave without me. You. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open the door for me? Please. Come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Tail, I wonder if that child <laughs> will be all right on his own. Well, I would say, uh, I would say that this is a pretty bad start to the game. We're, uh, 
we're twirling, we could, we, yeah, we're, we're pretty much useless. I mean, I guess we could do this. Oh, that's weird. Is it just shallow? Yeah, it is shallow. Well, I, at least we can do this. We got flowers. You like flowers? Fancy. I mean, I used to <laughs> slay demon kings, and now I'm a tree, but that's all right. Like, everybody has to get humbled sometimes with a restart. All right, let me open the door with my scrawny little arms for you. <laughs> are you still even following me? Yeah, you are. You're back there. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I, uh, I apologize. So, so take me with you. <laughs> they always come crawling back. All these girls just keep coming back after. I'm just kidding. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea where they might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal, please? Good. So then let's get settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least w until we catch that skull kid. My name's Tattle. So, um, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've gotten all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, I'll press, uh, press up and I'll tell it to you. So, I'm pretty sure this one... Yeah, I know, Link. You're just gonna have to... There, see? No. Hey, listen! Hey, mm, listen! Yeah. So, none of that. I don't need you, Tattle. I'm, uh, I am notorious for overestimating my ability to remember what I'm doing in these games. I never did make that video. I was going to compile a list of all the crap every single time that I was like, oh, I know how to do this. I remember how to do this. And then, spoiler alert, I don't. So it, it did warn me, we're playing the promo disc for uh, Wind Waker, which means that this has been ported from the N64 to the GameCube. If anybody is confused about why like for instance the down the a the down button right there the attack button is green when it was blue in the original that's why but there are going to be some sound bits that didn't port over particularly well this wasn't a huge project for nintendo so their solution was to just put a disclaimer that if it sounds funky that's normal so yeah i think it adds character to it all hey you come on press l and talk to me there you go. See, you can do it. When I fly over to people or objects, you can use L targeting to talk to them, which I'm already aware of. Um, but enough about that. Come on over to this tree and check it out. Oops. Boom. Now we're good to go. All right, check this tree. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy and almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad. So, minor spoiler, okay? You'll get it eventually and I'll, I'll bring back to this conversation. This used to be a Deku. The Skull Kid murdered him. Oh, okay. So, wow. He was, he was walking by and just decided this guy needed to die. Jesus. Oh, uh, here we go. Alright, see this door that just closed? It will never open again, ever. And this isn't like a link to the past where 20 years from now I'm going to finally figure out how to open that door. It legit, that was the only time that door is ever going to be open. Okay. There we go. See, I can hop over water. Hmm. I mean, I can't swing a sword or anything, but I can blow snot bubbles, I think. <laughs> oh, I guess I can. All right, so now, Naya, are you ready for the return of somebody you missed so dearly? You've met with a terrible fate, oh God. haven't you? It's the happy mask salesman. Something just blew it, like... Sorry, I think something flew into my face. I don't know oh. what that was. Aren't you just delighted to see the happy mask salesman? Yes. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't He's you? He's delightful. A terrible fate, huh? I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am, at a loss. And now I found you. It's amazing that his masks are decorating his backpack sack looking thing. That's very weird. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. 
for I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? Is that not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should, be by, it should by no means be a difficult task. It almost makes you wonder if the happy mask salesman might know that I traveled through time. The one thing is, I'm a very busy fella, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. Before your time is up, huh? Hmm, okay. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. Yeah, the Triforce of Courage, remember that? Yes. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. I think he has more faith in you than he probably should. Well, let's uh, let's get this cameo out of the way really quickly. Ah, there he is. Good old Mario. See him? No. You don't see Mario? Right there. Oh. On the top there. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That mask is Mario. Well, that was a very pleasant conversation. Almost a little eerie, don't you think? He's eerie as is. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. You have no idea how iconic that image is. Anytime a game is being released, like any game, Pokemon, Splatoon, whatever, everybody starts posting that one that's three days away from release date. Hmm. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking aloud. <laughs> You know something we don't, huh? But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, oh, don't no. you? The Great Fairy will know what's what he's up to. She watches over everything. Of course she does. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy there. It's not what you think. Truly? Or are you just saying that so I don't leave? Uh... Ow! God! What the heck was that? Dogs are racist, that's what. Um, no, you, you, you don't have to leave. Everything will be okay, I promise. Ye who hold the sacred sword, I do not hold the sacred sword anymore, leave proof of our encounter. Well, I guess we should uh, start by scoping out our new home base, our town here. So, wait, hang on. I forgot about this guy. He's gonna, he's gonna plant himself in here so I can't use it. <laughs> this is my private property. Don't just go using it while I'm around. When I'm not around. Or when I'm not around. All right, so check this place out. This is Clock Town. Naya? Yes. This is cozy, isn't it? I suppose. I haven't really seen much, but I well, suppose we're uh, we're looking at it right now. Not full of zombie people, so I guess that's a bonus. East Clock Town. Let's talk to this dude. My my, funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny funny. You're telling <laughs> me like the rumors about the swamp to the south. Did you hear about the kidnapping? Oh my, the kidnapping. Yep. But then the kid woke up. Get it? Kidnapping. <laughs> Whew, I got a million of them. Oh, as you can see, like you'd come up with. this is very Tim Burton like in terms of like everything is pretty much cynical in some way. So, as you can see, we have a clock now for 24 hours. The mayor's office doesn't open until 10, uh, and I pretty much. So, this guy. If you want to get past, you have to say the secret code, which changes every playthrough, so. But, uh, I... Oh, yeah, this will still work. I was going to say, I think that only works in the N64 version, but it's the emulated version that it doesn't work. In this game, it should. Dun, 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 dun. Should what? It should work. You'll see what it is. So this is North Clock Town. And look who it is. Tingle. What's this? Green clothes? White fairy? Sir, could you be, by chance, a forest fairy? Oh, my. My name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, 
Though I am already age 35, no fairy has come to me yet. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is a very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky. You are so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Yeah, go ahead and give me a clock town. Yippee! Sweet. Now I can find my way around. It's important that we start there and get the map. Kay. Well, call again. Tingle, tingle. Kulu Such a weird These are the magic character. words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them. Don't worry. He's, I don't want them. He's, uh, he's not okay in the head, but he's not hurting anybody, so we just kind of let him hang out instead of arresting him. You don't say. Alright, let's go to West Clock Town. Check it out. West Clock Town. You will find, uh, oh, I remember guess there's this north guy? and south, too. Yes, I remember that dude as well. It was the postman. Is there a north and south as well? We just got the map at north. Swordsman School, hey. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can't tell. I think that's a hat, but at the same time, I think it might be his facial hair. I'm not really sure. This is a training center for learning the sacred way of the sword. No place for children. Well, considering that's the sword we're dealing with, then this guy... I'm just surprised he's open. I'm just trying to open up some of the doors, you know? It is now 10 o'clock. What, do the hours pass by in minutes? Looks like it. They do. It's a very fast day around here. You gotta get a lot done quickly. In fact, look at this guy. He's such a jerk. <laughs> he says, wait a minute, Deku Scrub. Have you some kind of errand at the ocean? It's dangerous outside of the town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to go out alone. Until you are old enough to carry a weapon, you cannot pass. Well, let's open up the doors and let's go see some of the businesses. Like the bomb shop. Everybody should have a bomb shop. Remember the Gorons? Arr oh. Hello. Did you come by to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb <laughs> that this shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry, I even brought it up. Seems like the kind of guy you want to buy bombs from. You can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. Bombs, my favorite, bomb shoes, and then there's the bomb bag. Come again. Nothing like a sketchy dude, you know, just uh, selling some bombs to the general public without a license. Trading post, remember this guy? Yeah? Oh, yeah. The fisherman. Of course. How could you forget this guy? <laughs> But, uh, it's almost a little eerie that, like, everything he sees, like, eh? I, uh, I didn't exactly mean to go That's to the That's why I was but... asked, like... Hey there, little guy. Is he okay? Won't you deposit some rupees? Nowadays, even if people have money, okay. <laughs> they don't deposit any, nothing. So, for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. All right, so how many do you want to deposit? Let's deposit 20 rupees. Seriously, that's a lot, a lot. <laughs> so, little guy, what's your name? Hmm, Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks, and it's not going to hurt. You put it on my forehead. There, now I'll know when I see you. All right, little guy, now I've got a total of 20 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. What is wrong with them? <laughs> this whole town is a a screw loose here. A uh, a couple of couple of screws loose in their time, and a couple of uh, nuts short of. Or actually, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a good salad, a bunch of nuts. Mm. Don't bother us. 
They're dancing. You can only call it that, sure. Alright, well. Since we're dealing with nighttime, I guess I'll uh I'll see what all I can do at night. Now you'll notice these guys, what are they up to? They're working all the way through the night. Hey apprentice, don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. I already talked to him, I'm not to talk to him. Apparently he doesn't want to talk. All right, well that guy's hammering away at construction material. Naya. Yes. Ah? Uh? Oh, heaven sakes. <laughs> la, 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 la. They said I was too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad, sigh, now I'm sad. I'll just stay here all night and away from their pad. And you are a child, so you must go to bed. <laughs> yeah, Lord. This is the theme of Nido Marquis Friday Night Smash Arenas. Oh, really? It is. So it's almost eerie, isn't it? We're in a mysterious place that we don't know. And for some reason, everybody that's here, we remember from the last game. Correct. It could just be lazy programming. Maybe they just used the models again, or... Maybe something else is going on here. Hey, aren't you going to the Great Fairy Shrine near the North Gate? Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. It's locked. All right, well, if it's locked, then uh, I say... Check it out. You like his mask? He's got a little fox mask. Yeah, uh, like his mask? Yes. So, do you like our happy new town? I wouldn't say it's happy. And let's see, we've got an archery range, which you'll recall that uh, I never actually went back and did the archery range back in the last game. And welcome, please show proof of membership to, to what? Check. It is patron guidelines for the milk bar latte. We offer our customers limited run milk, thus we are a members only establishment. Those who do not have proof of membership will be refused service. Fancy schmancy proof of This town is very interesting. We may be cursed to be Deku's forever, but at least we can do this. Bombs away! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's go into the cave that nobody ever goes into. I wonder what's in here. See? Fairy's fountain. And what's what's here? Oh no, the great fairy. See? Fairy's fountain okay. and Okay, fairy. okay, okay. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one stray fairy in town and bring her to this fountain. I'm How stuck. are we supposed to have it? That wasn't English. How are we supposed to bring it back? Um, well, this is all part of the puzzle. And look, the sun's even coming up. And look, we found our first heart piece. I mean, I don't know how to get to it, but... At least we found it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we're getting tiny, Naya. What's happening? What's going on? Dawn of the second day, 80, 48 hours remain. It was just a really dramatic transition. Really I see. Nice day. I was like, the heck? I was just messing with you. No. You didn't really make a big deal about it, though. No. Sorry. All right, um, so that fairy that was in town was here at night. Is that fairy still here in the day? Nope. I have a feeling that we're going to mess up the three days. Um, we're going to be just fine. You just need a more positive attitude. Look, it's raining even. <laughs> oh, whoa! -hoo! That was not supposed to help us with the fairy. Hey, Naya, you know what we yes. haven't addressed yet? What? That. Oh yeah, the moon. <laughs> what do you mean, oh yeah, the moon? Did you know about that? 
I uh, know it's a part of Zelda, but I don't know anything else about it. Well, uh, let's just say that's a problem. That moon is not uh, a good thing for everybody. All right, well, let's uh, let's try and stay at the hotel, maybe. I'm sorry, our rooms are filled. <laughs> all right, well, any good hotel person would uh, would be okay with me just walking back here and checking out all the rooms. Hi, Grandma. Oh, Tortoise, did you help finish or did you finish helping Father? Then let Mother read you a story. Uh, now, uh. Uh, I'll pass. Naya, I'm just going to tell you these stories myself instead okay. of letting her tell you. That's really long and drawn out. I guess I don't know exactly the lore behind, like, the carnival, and maybe I should let her tell you, but I'll, it'll all be explained eventually. You there, dude? He's not there. Toilet man's not there. Tattle, this is going to be a long trip if you don't shut up. Check it out. We're on the roof, but there's really nothing we can do up here, so. Yeah. And here's the dancer girl. Hmm. Oh, that won't work. No, that's too basic. And look, it's you. Hey, why won't you talk to me? Hey, <laughs> why won't you talk to me? I know where you're going. Naya hasn't played this game, but I already know what you're doing. So, who do you? It says employees only, no admittance. All right, well, how about this one? Sneaking into people's rooms, you're the worst. Hey, Naya! <laughs> well, he travels a lot. Da -da 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 -da. Don't speak to me right now. She hasn't fi finished her new dance for the town's carnival. Da -da 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 -da. Even though the song, even though the song is finished. Judo is very good at it. Maybe we should add some spins. Random spider ah, crawling. look who else oh, is here. Grief, the chicken man. That's right. See, isn't it a little ominous? Well, we'll be leaving right away, mumble, mumble. First off, it was really weird that he had a picture of Ganondorf on his bed mantle. And then second off, I love that that's how I opened doors. Did you see how I opened yes, doors? Yes, I saw. That was hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, well, it looks like we need to allow a little bit of time to pass here. Yeah, but that doesn't mean him. Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on the right is drawing room, and it's also Madame Aroma's office. Okay. How's that face? I was going to say, she definitely has one that doesn't match the other. This Alright, so, uh, not to bring this up, but this discussion you're about to hear is so appropriate. It has a whole different meaning, a whole different life, uh, post-COVID. Okay. Let's hear what they're arguing about. Most of the town folk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and Carnival Committee members, please order those remaining to evacuate. Mmm, well... You cowards! Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folk simply refu er, caused a panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, and the outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled because of COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Hmm, well... Are you serious, Muto? It seems a giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. You haven't seen the hospital beds and all the people that have a cough? Oh, I'm sorry. Once again. At this time every year, there are overrun by tourists. So why is this town empty? 
Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag down the merchants and soldiers into this. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, v Vison is his name, I think. We councilmen will stick to our tradition. No matter what comes across our plate, no matter what virus we have to fight, we are not canceling this festival. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she? Mayor. Let's not bring my wife into this. <laughs> So, as you can see, the dilemma of the town is that they are supposed to have a festival, but people are abandoning ship because the moon appears to be falling out of the sky. Now, as you can tell, the moon is getting closer. People are worried that it's going to crash into Earth and destroy the town. But then there's a certain number of people that said, no, the moon's not doing anything. You're wrong. I don't want to hear what's going on, potentially. I just want everything to go normal as planned with no mitigations and no planning for disasters some people just don't want to accept a panda i'm sorry the moon falling and look who it is well actually i don't know who this guy is but he kind of reminds me of the zora king oh he looks like a puzzle fish where's this door go huh i don't remember this room actually but i should probably stay away from fire night of the second day 36 hours remain well, we should probably go get that fairy since Madame Aroma won't actually talk to us. Oh, she will. Oh, dear. Are you a student of Deku Elementary? Where's your teacher? You shouldn't be here. Field trips go next door. Tell your teacher that. Okay, then. Thank you. Please, hear my plea. The masked skull kid has broken me apart. Flying in reverse. Well, let's uh, let's see what happens to your brain. Because my logic here was that if it's you know if they're in up in a panic about yay or nay, and then the soldiers are leaving and not staying, blah blah blah. Why are they? Why, you know, if it was such a big catastrophe dealing with the moon or whatever, like wouldn't it be other cities, or other towns, other places involved? I guess when we go see them, we'll see. For now. I mean, does that not make sense, though? No, it does make sense. I see okay. what you're saying. I'm going to equip my deck of nuts. And... Because, I mean, everybody there, you know, the last game was talking about... You know, who, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> just going to... Just going to hide. I see. All right, well, let's... Uh, let's get the great fairy back together. Maybe she'll help out the situation a little bit. I swear, if it's what I think it is, I'm leaving. The Great Fairy! You know. Seriously. Ding, ding, ding. Yo! Yeah. Tattle, and you, young one of the altered shape, thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. Hey, at least she's sitting like that now. I thought that masked child was helping me, and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. Is that going to be in every single game? No, you already know it's not in Twilight Princess. All right. We're restored. We got our magic meter back. Huzzah! Magic power. In your current form, you can shoot <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> Snot bubbles! Oh my god. The man who lives in the observatory outside of You don't get fire, you get bubbles. <laughs> may know of the Skull Kid's whereabouts. Be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers, kind young one. If ever you are to return to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. All right. Well, we're uh, we're on our way here, and I know the first thing I want to do. I want to play mini games, but I have to wait till the morning to do that. So for now, just waste more time. Let's do it. Let's see what this guy's I'm got. I'm telling you. What do you want, shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can pop that balloon, then you don't. Then oh, then don't mess with Jim. It's not bubble. Kaboom! Explosion from the snap bubble. 
Are you the one that just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? All right, line up, guys. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. Are oh you ready? Oh, Lord. This... Hide and seek, Naya. Great. And with the power of editing, I'm pretty much going to skip all of this and go straight to the end. All right. Two, four, five, one, three. Ah, oh, that's right. There's a lot of cool stuff at the telescope guy's house. Uh, oh yeah, and um, the Bomber Secret Society of Justice Forever. That guy's very enthusiastic about his job. Look at us in our little secret hideout. Seem a little familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, uh, the last time that we went to a secret place, you know, it was sketchy and not dealing with you. Fought enough of you back in, uh, back in that awful freaking graveyard. Here we go. Snap bubble. I missed. Snap bubble. All right, now yeah, we are rocking. Made it through our first dungeon. Right into this guy's house, and look who's here. It's none other than the Scarecrow himself. Very colorful. On to the final day. I might need to take a drink for this one. Well, well, a strange-looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bomber Gang? Hmm. Your manners seem much better than those of your mischievous friend from the other day. <laughs> See, he's just a friendly old man that formed a fun society with a bunch of kids. Isn't that kind of funny? That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around Clock Tower. Will you gaze under the telescope? All right, ready, Naya? Whoa! Sometimes the audio can be really glitchy. Look, you finally get to see what it looks like outside Clock Town. Hmm. Well, let's look up at the top here. And he's mooning us. The moon cried. Naya. Yeah. That's a crazy good telescope that it can do that. <laughs> He's taunting us. He knows we're looking at him, which is kind of weird. Like, he's, his vision must be crazy, right? Well, did you find that troublemaker and that loud noise? What was that? Perhaps another moon's tear has fallen nearby. Go through the door and look outside, but I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that only opens on the eve of the carnival. See? It's the final day. We're doing pretty well. Moon's tear, its sparkling beauty radiates str rather strangely. All right, well, I have the moon's tears, so. Is it still recording audio? Yeah. Because I, I just see, it like, a flat line. da na 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 Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was just making sure. I mean, I don't want it to be loud, loud, but. All right, what do you got? The, t the town's carnival is starting to look a little iffy. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can get a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get one from you. If you could give it to me, I'll give you a Deku flower. Well, here, why don't you, you go... You did all that for that? That's it? That's stone. 
You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot. Yes? I, I got the so land title this. deed. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set eyes on a jewel of or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. If you don't need it anymore, you could always sell it. And he's got his bags and he's gone, Naya. He the dead of the He hit the town, he's gone. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna just fly away with my hat helicopter. Well, look at that. Now I know what the moon's tier was for. And that's the gold one, so I get to jump super high. Check it out. We got our first piece of heart. How do you feel? Annoyed. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Well, that's all right. I want to go talk to this guy. This guy has been uh, up here this entire time. Oh, I can't even get up here. Eleven forty-five. You ready? Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty-five. Midnight on the third day. Naya, it's the festival. Fireworks, yay! Let's party. It's like New Year's. Judging by the engineering of that, it's a miracle the thing actually stopped. And look at that, Naya. The door is open. But you might want to watch out. Don't stop now. Look, you can still get up there. Watch out, because we've got five minutes until something's going down. <laughs> Look who it is. Recognize that? Recognize what, specifically? Skull kid sitting there tossing that. That's no. the little image that appears when a subscriber on my live streams. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't pick this. Sis! Tail, I've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. What are you doing to my brother? Well, Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Oh, that was a glitch of the audio. All right, you ready for the final battle? All right, let's see. Where are you at, school kid? Eat snot bubble. Gross. Blinded by my snot. I got my ocarina back. Naya. Wherever the hell the thing fell. Right there. Right there. You got the Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it and play it. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. We're going back to Ocarina of Time. Remember this? Yep. You're already leaving this land of Hyrule, are you? This is what happened right after we cut off, after the credits rolled on Ocarina. <laughs> Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. This is how we got the ocarina after the credits rolled in Ocarina of Time. I am praying 
I am praying that your journey will be a safe one. Your prayers did nothing for me. <laughs> if something should happen to you, remember this song. Now, remember, the first time we got the ocarina, she threw it into the river while being chased by Ganondorf. Now she's willingly giving it to us, and... You're about to go, whoa. You ready to be trippy? Yes. All right, so instead of teaching us Zelda's lullaby, she taught us the Song of Time. You remembered the Song of Time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. And then we rode off into the sunset where we got mugged. The Goddess of Time is protecting you. If you play the Song of Time, she will aid you. Remember, the Triforce is out of the picture at this point because we never unlocked the Triforce because we went back in time, right? Yes. Snap out of it. What are you getting or what are you doing getting lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us. Somebody, anybody, Goddess of Time, help us please. We need more time. All right. Hit him with another snap bubble. You missed. We're maybe rapid fire. Well, I mean, he's not attacking us, right? So at least there's that. Alright. What do you think? Time to cut the crap and do it? Huh? When did you get that instrument? I have bagpipes. <laughs> Something a skull kid will never see coming. You won't even see this coming. Return to the dawn of the first day. Oh, well look at you. This is how we save now? What happened to the checkpoints? Or, actually... I don't... I guess I didn't know what I was thinking. All I know is that's how I save now? That's not how it used to be. Here's us falling through time. Also, all our shit coming out of our pockets, because, you know, if, uh, if we didn't, we weren't there, it never happened, right? Well, it's kind of, kind of where it all started. This is how all the crap happened. Happy mask salesman. Please. Dawn of the first day. Please tell me that we're not reliving the same three days the entire game. We are reliving the same three days for the rest of the game. Day after day after day. Are you trolling me right now? What has just happened? Everything has started over. Are you trolling me right now? Back to the start. You're joking. Started over. And the moon is back up in the sky where it was. It's not crashing down anymore. Please. For the love of God. Tell me you're joking because I'm not going to have the patience to do this. That song you played. That instrument. That instrument. You know. Wait. That's it. Your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got that back, the precious... Or if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? Dawn of the first day. We're back. See? Everything's back to the first day. Everything's back to normal. Alright, I'm tired of this dog. Let's go back down here. Alright, ready? Were you able to recover the precious item from that imp? Oh, oh, oh! You got it! You got it! You got it! And let me just whip out this piano out of my pockets. <laughs> then listen to me. Please play this song that I am about to perform and remember it well. You're about to get a little trippy again here. Ready? What song could this be, Naya? I don't know. This is a very powerful song. 
the song of healing. Bye. <laughs> Just a mask. I am back to normal. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. So, let me just establish the baseline here for you really quickly. The Song of Healing turns evil magic into masks. So, how was Majora's Mask created then? If you the mask salesman is the only one that really knows that song and the lore of that song. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Also, the fact that the mask salesman had Majora's Mask. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. You got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. Wear the mask to inhabit the body of the Deku. All right. Now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me that which you promised me. Hand over Majora's mask. Naya? Don't tell me. My mask? You did get it back, didn't you? What have you done to me? You scammed me, you piece of shit. If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. All right, let's let's uh, let's get some origin story here, Naya. The mask that was stolen from me, it's called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. Oh, I have a history of busting stuff out of shadow. But now that the tribe from legend has vanished, no one really knows the nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, you must do it. Really, you'll do it for me? I was certain that you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths, believe. So, masks. We have our first mask. And uh, we're going to relive the same three days over and over and over until the end of the game. Please. You're oh. joking. Also, this is me transforming. I hope you're okay with this. You're, luck. You're in luck, though. There's quick transformations, so... You're joking. This game has now been laid out for you. We will collect masks. That mask! The Skull Kid uses the power of the mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. Swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon. That tale was trying to tell us about I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what are you supposed to or what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips the important stuff. I guess we should just go ahead and find out. 
If we go through that gate straight ahead, we'll be heading into the direction of the swamp. And that's it, Naya. Now you know. Majora's Mask. Three days to do everything. And when it's done, we'll play the Song of Time and start back over at day one and continue on. Always moving forward, even so when we're moving So, I back. think you and everyone else that watches these videos are about to learn something very interesting about me. I can't stand this. Time loops? I cannot. It's the most frustrating thing. I can't stand Groundhog Day. I can't stand any That's TV not true. series. Shut up. <laughs> you liked Happy Death Day. I tolerated it. You liked it. I can't stand this. Oh, oh hey, look. God. We do know the song. The song of double time. Do you want to proceed to the night of the first day? <laughs> this game is going to be a process to play. So I can only save the game when I travel back in time? Huh. That's the only way to save the game. That's going to be really brutal for us. I'm just As curious. I said, this game is going to be a process. Wow, that is the only way to save the game is to go back to the first day. This is going to be a process. This is going to take a while to finish. I'm just going to throw that out there now. Let everybody know <laughs> that this is going to be... Welcome to the time loop, Naya. This is a level of hell that I didn't ask for. Always three days away. Always starting over, but always moving forward. Okay. I've, I've reached my limit for the day. I've... I can't sit here and watch this anymore. <laughs> can I at least show you the, uh, can I show you one ending that is possible? Have you ever wondered what happens if three days goes by and you don't actually reset time? Ten seconds left. All right, Naya, it's been a pleasure recording with you. I'll see you in the next episode after this ending. This is not a canonical ending, but I feel like it should be one of the endings on the timeline theory. Here we go. This is what happens if day three goes by and you have not stopped Majora. So we're on that platform. Not anymore. <laughs> I would say this is probably a pretty graphic, like... So it's like a meteor, basically. You pretty much take a meteor to the face. I mean, just think the moon is an assist trophy in Smash. And that's it. Rest in peace. We get a vision of the damage first caused by Majora. Mm. And you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Let those words ring in your ear. How did you do? You'll be fine. Surely you should be able to recover Majora's Mask. I believe in you. But time passes even as we speak. There are only 72 hours left. <laughs> All right, Naya, figure that one out. The town gets crushed, but here we are. Just reset back at the start of time. We don't die. Makes you wonder. What kind of a living could we be in right now where we just... Cannot die. I told you he was in hell. You thought he was in hell before. He's still in hell. He died a long time ago. Naya's going with the Link is Dead theory. Alright. Naya, I'll see you in the next one. I'll let you cope with this for a little while. I'm gonna need some time. Well, you're in luck then. Uh, no. No, no. We're not <laughs> ending it on that stupid time joke. Stop. Oh my god. You're so...